This is my review of Windows 8.1 Preview. Uh, those of you who read my blog regularly know I was one of the first people to adopt Windows 8 and that time I was using a tablet made by HP. I've since gotten Microsoft Surface Pro and uh, if Windows 8.1 will run well on any computer it will be this one. At this point, I just want to show that Windows 8.1 Preview simply installs in the background like a Microsoft Store application. And you're free to work on whatever else. Windows 8.1 Preview. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all that indeed, while you're installing this file, it's a 2 gigabyte file, so I strongly recommend wiring yourself in to a network when you install this thing. Uh, if you're on a tablet like the uh, Surface Pro or on a laptop, a lot of people have gotten used to not jacking in, but for this one, for a two gigabyte file, you better do that. And also Windows 8.1 Preview might totally bork your computer. Uh, you never know, so. Uh, just be very careful. One thing I want to note, and it's possible the preview might fix this, is it seems that almost all my games were broken by some update Microsoft did. Like uh, the Empire Total War here. This one was working for the longest time. And now when I try to start it using Windows 8, the preview hasn't installed yet wants to start, you see it changes the mouse and then that. Even a game that's as simple and old as uh, DEF CON, a game I've played before. Now it suddenly won't start. Let's see what else. Pretty much any non-Windows Store game. <coughs> Microsoft's license terms come up, um, and you pretty much have to accept them in order to work. Use Express Settings. Now it actually has some sort of two-step verification where you have to type in a security <laughs> code. And that was the, sign, the sound of the code arriving in my phone. And I was going to spend some time reinstalling apps. And you can see the start button comes up in the corner there and your start menu comes up basically all they did was change the graphic on that so that people who were used to having a start button would still have it clicking there brings up the power user menu which has everything that everyone who wanted the start menu wanted and let's see if Windows 8 will play my games like uh, it used to before some other update busted it. Let's try a nice simple DEF CON. I've only been playing it under Steam for a little while. Europe versus the Soviet Union. Let's see if it actually starts to play. Okay. Seems to work. Let's see if a more recent game, like Empire Total War, will play under Windows 8. We 
see the loading screens and such play, but that's very different than uh, having the actual uh, thing play the game. see if the battle actually plays. Line infantry equipped with bayonets can adopt a square formation to deter yeah, enemy cavalry. Be wary when adopting a square, as it can't move, suffers reduced firepower, and is a good target for enemy artillery. Form a square by pressing the square formation toggle button in the lower right of the screen. This seems to be playing just fine. See, in this game, even the natives have artillery, and they have the ability to make most of their army invisible. Then so does the United States of America. See, my allies' army got totally annihilated. Almost completely annihilated the one that was facing me. The Spanish, they were just, they got too, too much of a head start. And there you have it. Windows 8 plays games.